Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. It's the first of the month, which means it is Sheet Load of Cards Day. If you're new here, Sheet Load of Cards is a free printable I put out each month where I give you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your products to yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards, depending on the sketch, paper size, etc. In today's debut video, I'll be sharing a look at the new printable, telling you what makes it special, showing my first set, and then letting you know how you can download the printable for free if you're subscribed to my channel. Tomorrow, I'll be back to share with you the process of how I made my first set, and my creative team will be joining me here on YouTube, sharing the sets they've made. Make sure if you're not already subscribed to everyone that you check out the description box below for all of their links. Also joining the team this month is our July 2024 guest artist. I have had the pleasure of being on the Not Too Shabby team and seeing our July 2024 guest artist share her sheet loads here on her YouTube channel. Please help me welcome Letty of Party Planner Papery. Up on screen now is a look at where she shares her creations online, and I have clickable links down in that description box below. I know that she would love for you to stop by and subscribe and follow if you don't already. Let's go ahead and do a little Q&A with her. Before we take a look at the July 2024 sheet load of cards, I do have some special channel members to shout out. In the month of June, I had some members earn their two year membership badge. Congratulations to Plan with Lindsay, Ingrid, Cindy Rodrique, Brandy Cornish. Anna Hurtado, Cassie Hedges, Iris Monkeys, Mary Collier, Rose Audette, Heather Sunflower Fields Designs, Reagan Zick, Miss Shasha Lu. Annette Hovestall, Shirley Leggett, Susan Bredehoft, Janice Friesen, and Teresa DeVore. Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you as well to these members who celebrated three years of membership in June. An extra special thank you goes out to J.M. Rawgreen, Jeanette Sauna, Gladys Perrin, Anita Autor, Diane Andrade, Roberta B. BJ Classy, Humbird Lover One, Diane Viegas Johnson, Kim Dixon Creative, Leanne Sheffield, Cheryl Nagy, Mona Hayford, Lil Crafty Nook. Rebecca Ransdell, Carla Leonard, Martha Kemen, Wendy Easler, 
Louise Allsing, Carrie Twight, Donnie Richard, Biddy Art Journey, Carefree Sue, Christine Johnson, Barbara Morgan, Dolly Spiller, Coastal Crafty Studio, and Schnoogles. Each of your continued support means so much to me. Thank you. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this month's printable. The July 2024 sheet load of cards is going to show you how to yield eight five by seven cards using just two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper and some cardstock. And you heard right, it is a special size this month, five by seven. This is the 60th sheet load I have shared here on YouTube. And for number 50, I did my very first five by seven and many of you really enjoyed that size. So I thought, why not celebrate the 60th with that special size as well. Now, if you're really not into five by seven cards, don't worry, later on in the year, I'll be back and I'm gonna turn this into an A2 version. So hold tight. But I hope that even if five by seven isn't your favorite, that you'll give it a try because before the 50th edition, I definitely didn't make five by seven cards in bulk, but I really did have a good time with it. If five by seven size is one of your favorites, let me know down in that comment section below. If you don't quite want to make a sheet load of five by sevens, as always, I do give you the single piece dimensions on the printable so you can make one or two, give it a try. I also have some suggestions how you can make it your own and switch it up a little bit. And bonus for this month for my channel members, I have an SVG file that is going to help you cut the image area or the sentiment area here. But don't worry, if you don't have a digital cutter in tomorrow's process video, I'll show you how you can make that with dies and a paper trimmer. Now, if you're not yet a channel member and you would like access to all current and past bonus files, I do have a link down in the description box below that will tell you more about the levels and perks. On page two of the printable, you're gonna have the cutting guides where I'll show you how to cut your card stocks for your card bases and some matting, as well as your sentiment piece and your pattern papers. Now for the sentiment piece, if you have some good sized scraps, instead of using full sheets, you could actually pull those out to make your partial circles. I'm super excited to show you my first set and I would love to see yours as well. So if you share here on YouTube or on social media, don't forget to use the hashtags at the top of the printable. And if you're on Instagram or TikTok, you can tag me using the accounts on page two. I always love to see what everybody is out there creating. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I use for this month's cards. In front of me are the main supplies you'll see me use in tomorrow's process video. And you might be wondering, Alicia, you're way out of season with those papers. But I decided since Christmas in July is kind of a big deal that I would go ahead and make Christmas cards with this month's sheet load. I know that many of you, when you make your Christmas cards, you like to make them the larger size and make them a little extra special. So I thought I would do that as well. For the sentiments on my cards, I used Honey Bee Stamps, Biddy Buzzwords Holiday Stamp Set, and I stamped with Brussels Sprout Ink from Tailored Expressions. To stamp onto, I did use that SVG file for channel members, which I'll tell you tomorrow how you can download that. And for my pattern papers, I chose two from Echo Park's The Magic of Christmas line. I chose the poinsettias and the diagonal stripes. Now, normally, if you've been around long, you know that I try to go with a bright, colorful pattern and then one that's more muted, maybe a tone on tone look. But both of my papers today are pretty bright and cheery and patterned. And the reason I thought this would be okay the stripes, since they are so little, I thought the pattern on these wouldn't really overpower whatever the background is. So that's why I'm switching it up just a little bit today with my pattern paper choices. 
And for my card bases and the matting for those strips, I'm gonna be using Gina K Designs Cherry Red Cardstock. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set. I hope you enjoyed seeing my first set of cards using the July 2024 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the free printable. As always, I do ask that you have clicked on the subscribe button before you click on the download link, which I'll tell you where that's at here in just a minute. Subscribing is free, quick, and easy. Just click on the button right below this video if you haven't already. While you're there, you also might want to turn on all notifications so you know when I share my latest videos. I don't make you send me any proof that you're subscribed, we just go on the honor system here. You're going to find the link to the July 2024 PDF down in the description box right below my PO box address. Below the link, it will say to watch the video for the password, but you watching this far is the password. You can open the file on your device and use it that way, or you can download it and print it like I have. Don't forget to come back tomorrow where I'll show you how I made my first set and give you some tips along the way. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.